welcome back to my bootloader project. Um, as promised, I have some software updates done. I've also upgraded the hardware. It's now very easy to um, connect through um, the BC um, O1V uh, connector to connect a standard serial um, cable from digital. Um, you can put in as well um, a DB9 connector. Just use a nil modem cable to your serial port and you're good to go to um, upload your Arduino um, firmware in it. Um, the link to the Gerber files and to the software I will put in uh, the description. Um, the software is open source. Um, if you have your own bootloader programs, um, you can put them in, it's not a problem. Um, I want to show how you trigger some um, different programs. First, um, to still be able to use the original bootloader of the PDP, I've um, made it possible by not selecting the dip switches. Um, when you switch just one time, the bootloader keeps quiet. It doesn't lo load any program. Um, like I said in the early um, movie, there are 15 um, possible uh, presets for uh, just toggling one time the SV uh, switch. If you have programs like uh, program number uh, 32, you can set it in the dip switches, but it's just a test program. So we toggle to um, 32, and the program number will show in the address line. Thirty-two. It will be a console print test. Well, as you see, the program is running now. Um, but I could also start the the, oh, the AC increment uh, twenty-six. I can just toggle to. Program is turned in, and you see the AC increment. But if I want to just uh, boot up OS 8, it's on program uh, number one. Program one showed up, and OS 8 will be booted from the serial disk server. And welcome to S8. Well, that was the update. Thanks for watching.